Welcome to another class in programming 8085. In this video, we are going to discuss about addition of two n byte numbers. So, in the previous videos, we have uh, discussed about how do you transfer a block of n numbers. We have also discussed about reverse transfer and we also discussed about exchanging, swapping of uh, two blocks of numbers. So, in this program, we are going to add these two blocks of numbers. We are going to treat them like uh, the numbers with n bytes. So the n value is going to be stored at location double one double zero. In this particular example, I have taken the n value as five. This is at double one double zero. The inputs are going to be starting from double one zero one to double one zero five. I am going to have five numbers. Right. Similarly, at one two zero zero, at location one two zero zero, actually starting from one two zero one, I am going to have another five numbers. So basically, I am going to have two blocks of numbers starting from double one zero one. To double one zero five and one two zero one to one two zero five, right? So I will be adding these two numbers together, and the result is going to be stored at locations double one zero one to double one zero five. That's what we are going to do. How are we going to do it? Is we are going to have maintain two pointers. So one pointer, one uh, register pair HL will be pointing to double one double zero. Another register pair DE will be pointing to one two zero one. We are going to increment those two pointers, and we are going to fetch the data present in those addresses, in those memory locations. That's what we are going to do. Let us begin. Alexa H comma double one double zero. So I'm going to point the HL register pair to double one double zero. So double one double zero is stored in HL register pair. The value of HL register pair point, the memory pointed by HL register pair, that value is called as the memory or M. Right? That we already know that. We have used that technique in many programs. So I am again repeating it. The memory address pointed by the HL register pair value stored in that particular address is your M value. Next line LXI D comma one two zero one. So D register pair is going to be loaded with one two zero one. Or you can say D register pair is pointing to position one two zero one. Right? Mo C comma M. The first value, which is present at double one double zero, will be your n value. So that n value is moved to register C, which is going to act as a counter. We'll keep decrementing register C. When register C is zero, we will come out of the loop. That is the purpose of using this register C. Next, you have INX H. So you have to increment your HL register pair, so it becomes double one zero one. This is when we are going to start the adding process. Right now, your pointer is pointing to double one zero one. So there are two pointers. HL is pointing to double one zero one. D is going to point to one two zero one. Now we are going to add these two, right? So how are we going to do it? We are going to use a command called LDAXD. Okay, LDAXD will load the contents of this D register pair. So D register pair will actually have an address stored into it. So the value stored in that particular address is going to be loaded to by your argument. Okay, loaded to your LDAX. Going to load the value which is present in the memory location, which is pointed by the DE register pair. Okay, so we have used LDAX instruction also. So look, the value present at one two zero one is one. So what I have done, the inputs what I have given is double one zero one. I have given one to five. Similarly, one two zero one also I have given one to five. So I am just I am trying to add one plus one, two plus two, three plus three, four plus four, and five plus five. That's what we are going to be, right? So the value present at one two zero one is going to be loaded by your accumulator. So accumulator's value now is one. Add m. So m is nothing but the value pointed by the HL register pair. HL register pair is now pointing to double one zero one, which is one. So one plus one, two. After addition, the accumulator value is going to be two, right? So accumulator value is now transfer to the memory, which is location double one zero one. So double one zero one now becomes Will decrement C because one addition is done already. So one location we have added will decrement C. You are incrementing H and incrementing D. The pointer is moving to double one zero two and one two zero two. And you are going to add the value two present in these two locations. Two plus two will be four, and four will be stored at one double one zero two location. And you go on like that. So you keep incrementing it. Double one zero three. So three is going to be added with one two zero 
3's value which is again 3 3 plus 3 becomes 6 similarly 4 plus 4 becomes 8 and 5 plus 5 is going to become 10 so when you finished all the 5 additions your c value must have become 0 and you will come out of the loop right and the program ends there halt okay so let me also you know show you how it is happening line by line execution what happens i will show you right so we are going to begin with the this line executed so hl register pair is double one double zero so double one double zero we are uh, no it is assumed to be a decimal value right since we don't have an h here so if i am having h then double one double zero h then it is a, a decimal value as of now it is a considered to be a decimal value so it is converted into hex and that's what you see there okay, 4c04 is the address which you see in the hl register pair same for d register pair also right so again d register pair and hl register pair are pointed to two memory locations so double one double zero value is five so that is your memory value it is going to be loaded to c register now your register c is going to become five so can you see here in the register part so your c register c is five so this is b and this is going to be c register c is five so i'm incrementing h so what happens is i'm going to move to the next you know, location which is double one zero one so hl is going to point to double one zero one so i'm going to load the value present in one two zero one so i'm going to load it to the accumulator so your accumulator value is one the memory value is also one when i add a memory with the accumulator one plus one your accumulator will become two now okay so accumulator value is two that value is going to be stored in your memory which is nothing but the pointer which is pointing to double one zero one so double one zero one will become two right it has become two now so you are decrementing c value c value started with five now it is going to become four we are going to increment the h register hl register pair and d register pair and we are going to access the next values so you keep going on with it until c becomes zero right so we will go on with this until c value becomes zero you can see the c value right? it keeps adding six will be stored then you have eight that will be stored then you have ten right so that is going to be stored so with this we are ending with the loop because now c value now is zero so it will come out of the loop halt okay have executed the program so the output will be at double one zero one two four six eight and ten okay so that's it I hope you understand the program so i also found a, a very strange thing happening so again i'm trying to add one to this so i have one two three four five in uh, location one two zero one so i'm going to add one to it i'm going to add two to this three to this four to this and five to this so what happens is this is uh, you can say this is too stable so when i keep uh, executing it the same program again and again comes three stable four table five stable and so on it's a very interesting uh, observation right 10 stable and so on it just goes on like that i can go on with it right hope you enjoyed the video thank you